hey what's up so the windows 11 23 edge 2 is here for everyone also known as windows 11 2023 update this is a major update which includes many new features and improvements talking about the features actually almost all the new features of windows 11 23 h2 were already available in windows 11 22 h2 in the last update of windows 11 22 h2 uh, also known as movement 4 update or something like that but there are some features that didn't make it to windows 11 22 h2 so in this video we will talk about those new features plus how to get this windows 11 23 h2 update plus iso and everything all right so as i said most of the features were actually already available in windows 11 22 h2 and i have made a video on that so i highly recommend you guys to watch that video to learn more about the new features and now let's talk how to get the windows 11 23 h2 update so if you have windows 11 22 h2 and you have the latest update installed then uh, go to windows update and check for updates and you should see a windows 11 23 h2 update this update is actually pretty small as i said most of the features were already pushed to the windows 11 22 h2 so this new update for windows 11 23 h2 will just change the version name and build number and it will also include few extra features so this is the quick and easy way to get the windows 11 22 h2 update just in case if you didn't get this update then you can go to this website and from here you can download the windows 11 23 h2 iso file or you can create a bootable usb drive using media creation tool i recommend you guys to download a iso file because as of me making this video some people were reporting that media creation tool is still downloading the windows 11 22 h2 if you're watching this video after a week or month maybe uh, the media creation tool will also download the latest version of windows 11 but you know just get the iso file and you can use uh, tools like rufus or ventoy to make a bootable usb drive plus using iso file you can update your windows 11 to the windows 11 23 h2 so to download the iso file click on that select download option and select the windows 11 and then click on download and choose the language and then confirm and click on 64-bit download and you can see here it's a windows 11 23 h2 iso file so just in case if you didn't get this update through the windows update in settings you can get the iso file and then update your windows 11 to the latest version so you can see i already have the windows 11 23 h2 update installed now let's talk about the new features as i said most of the features were already available in windows 11 22 h2 i have made a video on that so you should watch that video to learn about most of the new features uh, in this update there are a couple of new features let's just talk about it i think in my opinion one of the biggest feature uh, is in paint app as you know recently paint app got updated and it got some really cool and crazy new features so in windows 11 22 h2 it only had one feature called remove background but the co-creator and layers features were missing so with this 23 h2 update we can get these new features with the co-creator you can um do a text to image thingy uh, it's a ai like uh, let's say i wanna have a cat riding a horse <laughs> let's do that and you can also choose the style uh, there are a couple of styles that you can choose from but i'm not gonna select anything and it will uh, create a realistic image so let's do that i'm gonna click on create i'm not gonna lie this thing is really slow uh, I actually recommend you guys to use the image creator. Uh, uh, this thing is way better. I have tested this uh, co-creator in paint app, but it looks like it's uh, really slow. Plus uh, the results aren't that good because maybe it's still in development. Like you can see it's in preview. Uh, so it's been almost like two to three minutes and we haven't got our cat riding a horse so i'm still gonna wait <laughs> but as i said 
uh, image creator is better than the co-creator in paint app oh finally we have the results um okay uh no this one is weird horse has the cat face or maybe lion's face i don't know <laughs> okay close enough i like it just for you guys i'm gonna use the image creator gonna do the same prompt and let me run it hmm i think uh, i need to specify that uh, it needs to be realistic it's using the dali 3 which is like one of the best like text to image ai and look at the results these are just fantastic results i'm not gonna lie this one is the best one it's they are not realistic because uh, I, I didn't specify here if i specify i think uh, i'll get the realistic ones too so yeah image creator is fast and uh, yeah <laughs> that's all you need to know let's talk about the layers now uh, we can have multiple layers in uh, paint app just like photoshop all right so actually i'm gonna create three layers because we have three images i can actually move these so you can see we have different images in uh, the different layers just like in photoshop so this is really cool now there is a new settings in the settings app called system components uh, so basically here you'll see system apps which were like pre-installed in your system so you can see i don't have huge list of system apps here i only have a couple of them like game bar get help and my microsoft store phone link and windows security because i uninstalled most of the unuseful things <laughs> so basically now microsoft is separating the user installed apps and uh, the pre-installed apps i think i did mention this in my previous video but uh, just in case if you don't know uh, the volume mixer is back with the windows 11 23 h2 update even though it was already available in the latest up update of the windows 11 22 h2 but this is a thing that was missing in windows 11 i don't know why but it's back now again one of the biggest features that was added in uh, 23h2 update is in snipping tool so if you record a video using snipping tool now you can record audio your microphone so you can also record system audio you can uh, enable it disable it there is just click on that icon and you can select your microphone this is a huge update now we no longer need a third party screen recording tools because everything is here and you can record your screen in any aspect ratio or any size this is i think one of the best feature in windows 11 23h2 so that's that I think that's it for this one hope you enjoyed it as i said most of the features were already available in windows 11 h2 so i have made a video on that you should watch that video and yeah learn more about the new features and uh, for now that's it hope you enjoyed it if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too yeah that's it i'll see you in the next one take care of yourself and have fun bye bye